So, there is a video circulating on social media, which is about a guy who bought a vehicle from Italy to Ghana, and he's complaining the amount of money he paid as import duty. And reading the comments on that video, I can see that Ghanaians need to hear something, or the guy needs some corrections on the complaint he's giving about the amount of money he paid as the import duty. But before we talk about it, Let's first of all watch the video and after that, the Zion Abakofi is here with me, we will add our submissions to it. So let's enjoy the video first. Kawi, I'm going to Italy. I'm going to talk to you about the car. I'm going to talk to you about the car. I'm going to talk to you about 450 euros. I'm going to talk to you about 500 euros. I'm going to talk to you about 300 euros. I'm going to talk to you about 800 euros. Nti minki kambo muse, eni sami diche kuntie na muni na ya thousand five hundred euros, thousand five hundred euros no de bagana, e ya one hundred and ninety million, one ninety million, ka asi, she poso, ama itli abaya wajene tax me santo, e ni ni na one hundred and ninety million, na me de ka ibe dru gana ha, mo mo ya ka ka ni ya kamera mai, ka we eba be dru gana ha, ni duty tingu ano, e ya three hundred million. Kaya mubi biya ya 190 million. Ni duty ya wakana ha. Ya 300 million. Nti saa 300 million wino. Ni entira gane ni edene kaa. Ewe kubo kena nesengi. Kaa wu ya wajiri gane ha 300 million. Se upe sa umfa kaa wu nkubo kena. Anasa wu ye kuntina ne nkubo kena. Kuntina ya esi huye mwomwe. Ah kamera mai. Ok. Kuntina wino. Se upe sa nkubo kena. Ewe fa gana ha. Ya firebi bi transit ee kem. Nti ee kem ha fa gana ha no. Gana abaya mbeji bokena ni ina ni kuntena efa hanisika kakara. Na asinya kubokena. Ba kuntena wena miyino ni duty nina ene kaa ni shimi nina ano. Eye 800 million. 800 million. Nti 800 million kuntena wei kubokena. Wa sisi kakesi ya kesi pa wa sisi kakesi. Beye ebiye 200 million. Ube yi kuntena ne piye. Let me summarize everything to our non-tree speakers. So that they will understand what this guy was trying to say. He said he bought the vehicle for 450 euros in Italy. And he paid 50 euros for documentation. So it total 500 euros. He paid 300 euros for towing service. Meaning the vehicle was not functioning. So you have to tow it from where he bought it to where his container was. And that one he paid 300 euros for that and the shipping including everything that he paid he says it cost him 1500 euros this 1500 euros is converted into 19,000 Ghana cities well but when the vehicle arrived in the port of Ghana he was charged to pay 30,000 Ghana cities as import duty and that is almost double of the price of the vehicle the shipping including everything double of the price the, just the duty alone and i think we have to talk about it so zayomba would you buy this vehicle for 50,000 ghana cities i will not why why because for somebody like me who knows about things like this especially how it is and all that i will not the reason why i asked you this question is that the time i was coming my mom gave me mini cooper to come and use in Ghana. Okay. And I did calculation for the duties of that Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper. And I came to a realization that I just have to add 10,000 Ghana cities to that money to buy the same Mini, Mini Cooper here in Ghana. So I stopped bringing, bringing that vehicle here. And there's a reason behind that. Which is? Which is why import duties, vehicle import duties are expensive in, in this country. Let me start from a country called Singapore. Okay. Singapore is the country in this world that has the most expensive import duties on vehicles. Okay. In that same country, before you can own a vehicle, huh, you have to get a certificate. They call that the certificate of entitlement system in Singapore in Singapore okay you need a certificate before you can own a car acquiring the certificate will cost you not less than one hundred thousand dollars how much is uh, this vehicle Tesla 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 uh, they have some models that sells for ten thousand dollars okay you understand even this their survey track I think it was costing 70 K but in Singapore, you need one hundred thousand dollars 
for a certificate before you can buy a Toyota Yaris as your private car, you understand? All these systems are ways and measures to control the amount of vehicles to be registered in the country each and every year. Okay. Singapore is not the only country that have most expensive, the expensive vehicle duties. Countries like Iceland, Norway, and Denmark are also countries that have expensive import duties. Do you know why these countries have these expensive vehicle duties? It's very simple. All these countries are islands, and therefore they do not have enough land, land to contain these vehicles. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why vehicle duties are expensive okay. in those countries. Now, let's bring the conversation mm -hmm. down to our country, Ghana. meaning our beloved <coughs> Ghana. I think there is no statistics yet. But looking at things, Ghana is one of the countries in Africa that has the most expensive import duties. Okay. And the reason is that we do not have rules. So, uh, is this the reason the duties are so high? Or Yes. A apart from the fact that um, import duties are generating income for the government, the main reason behind it is that we do not have rules to contain more vehicles in more this country. More vehicles. That is the reason why import duties are expensive in this country. So where, where did you get this fact from, if I may ask? Okay, fact like this, you need insight. You need the Holy Spirit <laughs> 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 to, to give you certain, certain facts like this. And again, this one everybody knows. The um, overage vehicles has expensive duties than vehicles that are not more than 10 years. Mm -hmm. And that's a way of controlling, bringing in old vehicles into the system. Okay. You understand? That's also another aspect of why import duties are expensive in the country. So, I don't know, what, do you have something to add up to what I've just... I, 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 I wouldn't be here. Okay. If I will not be able to say anything, or I will not say anything about exactly. it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You see, I keep on saying that the problem in this country, until we take it upon ourselves as Ghanaians, and get to know that whether good or bad, we should be in the same situation, fight for ourselves as Ghanaians. If not, this problem will still be on our necks. Why? Because. You were using Singapore, Denmark, Norway, and other nations as comparison. Yeah. To me, which, it does, sorry to say, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Why? Looking at these countries and how it is well developed, mm -hmm. talking of roads, go to Singapore, one of the best countries, or let's say developed countries in the world right now, yeah. Singapore. Yeah. So they have the money, they have the technology and the resource which they have built for themselves yeah. to control every system that they are putting in place, exactly. right? Exactly. So you cannot compare Singapore to Ghana. Not at all. Right? Yeah. Because the Ghana that has all the lands for any kind of thing that you want to use the land for, yeah. it's available. Yeah. Yeah, it's so what are you telling me? Talking of roads. Yeah. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not saying we don't have the road. We have it. Mm -hmm. But it is not constructed. Good. And let's... For example, let's look at the road that connects Ghana's two major cities. Kumasi to Accra. Kumasi to Accra. Okay. Look at the road. So here is the case. For you even making mention of Kumasi Accra roads, yeah. I don't know what you are going to say. This has brought to my mind that these our leaders are doing things intentionally. Not in favor of the citizens of this nation, but for themselves. For how long has this road been there? And has remained like that. Do you remember when this road was constructed? I don't. You uh, don't? I wasn't born. <laughs> Wami Nkuma built a Mamoto way for how many years now? It's over 50 years now. Yeah. But look at the road. The concrete road is now being purchased with what? Asphalt. You see, sometimes, eh, until Ghanaians realize to know that every problem of Ghana is, needs Ghanaians' solution. solution. Yeah. We will still remain in this thing that we are. Let me come back to the topic of this guy's conversation that he was having. Yeah. What he has experienced is what he's saying. Exactly. Looking at the neighboring countries, Ghana has the most expensive import duties. Right? Vehicle. Yes. Vehicle. Not even only on vehicles. Oh, no. Bro, <laughs> you see, maybe you've not worked. I used to work on computers. Okay. 
way back in 2012 up to 2016 mm -hmm. i was dealing with computers right yeah. and now i i have the fact to tell you what 140 feet of container was uh, let's say cleared from the port you understand yeah so coming to vehicles what are their main reasons why they do not want vehicles to be imported into this country if they do not want it what is their reason that's what i want to know is it because there are too many vehicles in the nation and we don't need more if care is not taken mm -hmm. yeah, and they allow vehicles to be imported mm -hmm. to the country mm -hmm. to get to a time you can spend a day mm -hmm. in traffic let me tell you something this is the reason why i say sorry to use this word but i have to this our leaders don't have what it takes to think as leaders that leading people why are you why what are good that's a quick question to ask why why are they leaders why do we leave position and the power in their hands why it is their job to sit down there and think that at this point at this time this is what the nation or the people needs right yeah and do so fine coming to this topic ghana is about 36 or something million population if i'm right 30, 35 35 okay when Kwame Nkrumah gained independence for us, how many were we as Ghanaians? I was not even born. Right? Yeah. Look at the roads Kwame Nkrumah built. And as at now, how many of them have been added to it? Not to talk of quality wise. Right? So now you have gotten to a point that you know the people are increasing. Yeah. What are the leaders doing about it? That's why they are constructing interchanges. Oh. They are constructing interchanges yeah. for what? For what purpose? To add up to the roads. Good. So here's the case. Yeah. Knowing very well that since we are now increasing to a certain number of people, mm. definitely we will need more of these things. Mm. So that is what they are supposed to do. Not to say it is getting too much. So they are bounding things or they are increasing prices. But you regulate it. That is what I think. And I know it, uh, it is being happening okay. anywhere. Where should? How should it be regulated? Good. To me, mm. this is what I think. Now, if you look at the transport system in this country, the majority part is being operated by an individual. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. The transport system is a private owned entity, uh, yeah. this thing, uh, companies. Yeah. So here is the case. Since the government is not too much into it, you have to put in a policies that will regulate things for not them. The government is not too much into it. We have mm -hmm. government owned transport system. How is it effective on the. It, it, yeah, it can be effective because. Mm -hmm whenever it becomes effective mm -hmm. it's going to take away a lot of jobs from those private people you, you see how we think it, it, that's the fact if that's the fact so must a, a, a nation be thinking this way <laughs> no no this is we cannot we cannot develop a nation with this kind of thinking and this kind of the way we do things no because if you make this thing work somebody is going to lose his mm -hmm. job yeah. or her job yeah. so we, we shouldn't we should leave it just like that is that what you're trying to tell me no here is the case if jobs are enough in these countries mm -hmm. the moment people are being employed the moment this thing are getting increased you understand everybody needs transport exactly everybody exactly. needs transportation so here is the case it's supposed to be increased not to be decreased or collapsed yeah right yeah. if things are really working in this nation that is what is supposed to be happening so sure. go to europe and see people have cars private cars in their houses but still use public transport that's not the case here he, that is what i'm trying to say yeah, if, if we, we think if we try to if you try to <laughs> listen you <laughs> were you were using singapore as an example yeah, right yeah. singapore is an island they don't have even enough land yeah. to construct more roads for us but here's the case we have it what are you using them for we are not yeah. if the government is serious enough to do things this is what he should have been done or do be about uh, this transport thing regulate it if you don't want the people to bring the cars in bring it yourself if you do not want to bring it there are manufacturing companies which is automobile man uh, manufacturing companies in this country right like, what is the government do? like Kantanka, if you want to say i want to i'll mention it am i afraid of it Kantanka is supposed to be used in this country, not the way we have neglected this man. So what are you talking about? These people are doing things intentional because they are benefiting from whatever they are doing, not the nation's benefit. I can't remember um, when they were constructing the railway line. Mm -hmm. One man told me that, no, this one, they can't do it. I 
I said no, it's possible. He said no, they will never do it. Why? I asked him why. He said, uh, have you seen all these tracks? Mm -hmm. These tracks mm -hmm. going up and down. Mm -hmm. It belongs to them. You see? So once they are done with this railway line, you see? All they are going, these, to, lose they are going to lose their jobs. So they will not. <laughs> you see? So it's like That's there are some true. few people who are hijacking the system and the masses are suffering. Bro, exactly. this government can do a lot. The leaders of Africa can do a lot, especially Ghana in particular. Ghana is not supposed to be looking like the way we are seeing it. So, so where they have taken a portion of the nation. So, what do you suggest the government should do? Fine, here is the case. In case of, um, in terms of import duties on vehicles. First of all, I will take you to the roads, right? Yeah. You know your roads are no good. Yeah. But look at the kind of vehicles that are on our roads. Hmm? Okay. All the trans uh, public transport distance vehicles are like a suicide machine. That's true. You understand? Yeah. So fine, if you do not want the individuals to be bringing the cars inside, do it yourself. Or there's Kantanka over there that you can make an order that I want you to produce me this amount of cars. The foreign ones should be this amount. Can't the government do that? You can do that easily. That's what Gaddafi was doing. That's it? Yeah. There's an automobile uh, company in this country that we do not want to accept, we do not want to entrust in, we do not want to do anything with it as, as Ghanaian owned property. We are making this man go through all this because of these selfish leaders. You understand? Yeah. This man can come into this problem and solve. Let him produce those cars. Bring the outside ones. Regulate it. Whoever that has a car which is over 40 or 50 years should bring it, make an exchange, swap it, take the rest to the scraps. Hey, what you are saying, does it happen in Europe? Are you telling me? I've witnessed this. I know where the, the, the machinery cars, even cars yes, that I are know, not I know. So, so what are you telling they, me? They trade. Uh, but you are telling me the government should. No, it cannot. It, it, it's not. That you see? It should you see? bring in the cars. Uh -huh. Tell people uh, that own. Have their old vehicles. You see, you see, you see what, what, what are you talking about right now? Now, what is the conversation here? Import duties. Yeah. People are not able to import their goods into their country, yeah. vehicles into their country. Why? Because the duties are so high. They yeah. can't afford it. Yeah. Because so buying a, a vehicle, which is equivalent uh, amount to 100 and something thousand Ghana cities, right? Yeah. Yeah. And to pay only duty for 30,000 Ghana cities. It's insane. So for you not to allow the people to go through this, regulate it yourself as a government. Bring the car yourself. Since you do not want the old vehicles to remain in the system and add up, take the old ones off of the system and replace it with new ones. What are you going to do? The people can't buy it. They can't afford it. How is an average salary of a Ghanaian uh, employer or employee? Sorry. You understand? So as a government, be in their midst. What is your problem? They dare to know. Bring their cars to them. You have an old car. How much does it cost? Swap it. Let them pay for it. Give them a time. They will do it. And within 10 years time, you see all these old cars with this... Uh, how do you call it? Smoke. That, so the smoke... <laughs> Excuse me. You see, sometimes it, it is sad, but it's funny. You understand? They can do things to take all these old vehicles they of the say, system. They say we should, we are fighting emotion, whatever, yeah, whatever. Change. You well, see how so quick they were? How quick yeah. these people were to come up with a levy? Right? Yeah. But there is nothing that has been programmed or being put in place to put the people to that direction that this is where the world is riding or shifting into. So you should follow the path. There is nothing like that. But here is the key. What they are doing, you have had the sense not to keep the lithium. I will keep mentioning this. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I was discussing for today. Okay, Zion, but I think you are making a lot of sense here. Uh, the government should do something about If they don't want old cars in the system, they should try and collaborate with those manufacturing cars in the country to make sure they take away the old cars in the system and give the people new ones. The government uh, can do it. Opportunity to buy new ones and use The government can do this so easily. They are able to borrow and share the money among yeah. themselves. Yeah, was can, doing can, it. can't they do this? Yeah, for was us? doing it. So go to Kumasi Kijitia. Go to Accra Circle. See how things are over there. They can do it. Government, you can do it. Try and collaborate with local manufacturers so that they can provide cars to your people. I mean, it's easy. 
Once yeah. again, I it's thank easy. Potteri to come up with this video. It is very necessary that he did what he did. All right. Yeah. Potabi, thank you. I'm a member of your family. Yeah, I don't support degree. Uh, no, 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 no degree family. <laughs> I don't support it. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, viewers. My name always remains Sheriff Arona. See you in the next one. Akramo. Akramo.